Greetings fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to another Blood Splattered Unboxing. So recently, the good people at Rumorg Magazine, which you can find here at their website, actually contacted me and said, hey, we want to send you a package so that you could unbox and review on your show. And I gotta be honest, me being a lifelong horror fan, being contacted directly by the guys over at Rumorg, holy shit, that meant everything to me. So of course, I was like, fuck yeah, send me the package, I'll unbox it, and we'll see how this goes. Lo and behold, a couple weeks later, this arrived on my doorstep, and hoo boy, I'm excited to find out what's in it. But before we begin, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna unwrap this thing, or unbox it, or whatever you want to call it, and then I am going to do a separate thing where I'm gonna go through whatever it is, because it looks like it's some sort of magazine thing or something like that, so I can show you a little bit of what's inside so you can decide for yourself if you want to go pick it up at their website. Sound good? Alrighty then. In that case, let us begin. Alright, let's see what's in this sucker. Alright, first thing we got right here is a uh, issue of Root Mord magazine, the one with the uh, the girl with all the gifts on the cover. Specifically, it looks like it is the January-February release. And funny enough, my roommate Count Jackiel already has a copy of this due to the horror block stuff. So I can safely say, before we even open this one up, that it is a very fantastic issue, and you'll want it for yourself. Alrighty then, let's take a closer look at this edition of Rue Morgue magazine. Alrighty then, what do we have first off? Alright, of course, we have the advert advertisements, which, you know, gotta have those if you have a magazine. You know, Severin Films, a whole bunch of movies on there. Dr. Butcher. Dr. Butcher MD. Now that is a classic right there. Alright, so this is obviously where uh, fans write in and be all like, we have a problem with your magazine. How dare you do this thing? I am so offended. Baskin director returns with Housewife. Ooh, it's the director of Baskin's new movie, which if you haven't checked out my good buddy Count Jacula's interview with the director of Baskin, it is highly entertaining. They just like go off the cuff and have this great conversation about everything from Turkish politics to uh, stuff like his new movie, Housewife. And if you haven't seen my top 10 films of 2016 list, Baskin is on that list. So needless to say, I am highly excited for Housewife. And it looks like we have an article here about Mick Garris mounting up another horror anthology film. And I really fucking loved his Masters of Horror series, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Oh, interesting. A whole article about Rue Morgue co-producing a sci-fi horror anthology. Now that's an interesting combination. We've had a lot of different horror anthologies, but never a sci-fi specific one, at least as far as I'm aware, so I'm really excited to see that. Well, I suppose if you count The Twilight Zone, but that's more of a series than an anthology film, but you get what I mean. And, uh, Feed the Children. This is the article on The Girl with All the Gifts, which is a movie I highly recommend, and I'm definitely interested in reading this article just so I can learn more about the movie. But yeah, let's move on to the, uh, to the next article. Alright, this seems to be a continuation of The Girl with All the Gifts articles, which clearly, that makes sense, that's the centerpiece of this particular issue. Oh yes, and here is their list of their favorite films of 2016, as well as their worst ones. I pulled a lot of the movies I watched in my 2016 catch-up vlog from lists like this, so I highly recommend checking this out yourself. Ah yes, the 2017 Horror Convention and Film Festival schedule, and if, for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna be at this one at uh, Monster Palooza in Pasadena, California, April 7th through 9th, so if you haven't seen my video announcing that, well, you heard it now. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, I think we pretty much got the idea of what this whole magazine about you got a good glimpse of it and like like I said I like Rue Morgue magazine if you're still into horror magazines and this is definitely one you should pick up and uh, let's move on to uh, one of the other items in the pack alrighty then let's see what else is inside Ooh, Rue Morgue magazines weird stats and morbid facts Find out what All That Snow and The Shining was actually made of, what famous horror author owned over 500 books on the occult at the time of their death, and what country banned Mickey Mouse for being too frightening for children. See, I knew that Shifty Mouse was up to something. And I'm not just talking about completely fucking over copyright for years to come. Thanks, Disney! Did you know the working title of David Cronenberg's Shivers was Orgy of the Blood Parasites? That I actually did know. In fact, Shivers is one of those movies that not only had that working title, it also has different titles depending upon where it was released. For example, with just a quick Wikipedia search, it was also called The Parasite Murders, They Came From Within, and Frisians. So yeah, Shivers is one of those great David Cronenberg movies that has a million titles it goes by, but it's still the same fantastic movie. Did you know Shock Rockers Guar, ooh, I fucking love Guar, have been known to use as much as 60 gallons of fake blood for a single performance? I didn't know the exact number, but I did know it was a shit ton. 
All right, to be completely honest, I'm not exactly sure how to give you a deeper look into this one because really all it is is a whole bunch of like facts like separated into categories. Like you have famous monsters, which is like universal monsters and stuff like that. So you have facts like in Thomas Edison's 1910 silent film Frankenstein, the monster is created in an oven. Pretty cool fact. We've got a whole section on artistic licenses, which is probably like artistic licenses between adaptations. We have a Bruce Campbell section, which is pretty fucking cool. And there's even a section dedicated to H.P. Lovecraft with some facts like the author never Ever completed high school he allegedly had difficulties with math so yeah i wish i could dig deeper into this one but it's really just a whole bunch of facts and stuff like that so you kind of get an idea if you want to get this for yourself or not all righty then holy fuck oh man this is beautiful rue morgue magazines authorized phantasm film companion Oh my god, I can't believe they sent me something this amazing. Like, oh my god, guys. Like, if you want your copy of this, once again, go to their fucking website. Because I think I don't even need to look into this to tell you that you need to have this. The Phantasm Film Companion. Holy fucking shit. Now, this one has a whole lot of stuff. It's got a forward and introduction by Don Coscarelli right here. It's got a bunch of, like, little snippets and, like, articles on various aspects of it. Like, here's a whole story about, like, the making of the move, the original movie and how that came to be and also like the origin of like the dreams he had that gave him the idea for Phantasm. Here's a whole section dedicated purely to Angus Scrim talking about him and his involvement with the uh, production or productions I should say because he was in all of them. Various actors get spotlighted alongside Angus Scrim. Got this whole section dedicated to the dwarves and the spheres. Here's the whole section dedicated to the Phantasm sequel that never got made. The one that everyone wanted but instead we got you know Phantasm Oblivion which is eh. Phantasm Ravage is way more what we wanted, but there was still a Phantasm sequel that still never got made, and this is what this is about. Whole sections dedicated to the concept art of the movies, but like, look at some of this stuff. Some of the art they did for this is just fucking beautiful. Like, goddamn, I love concept art. And here's a big look at Phantasm Ravager, the movie from last year, which was really fucking good. If you're a Phantasm fan, I highly recommend it. Also, check out the vlog Count Jacqueline and I did on Phantasm Ravager because we totally go into our love of the Phantasm movies in that. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, like, yeah, that is the Phantasm Phantasm Film Companion. I think you get the idea. I highly recommend this. Out of everything I got from Rue Morgue, this is the thing I highly recommend you all pick up because it's Phantasm and I fucking love Phantasm. And if you don't love Phantasm, what are you doing watching my show? Come on, guys. Yeah, I honestly don't know what more to say about this thing other than thank you, Rue Morgue Magazine. This is fucking amazing. I can't thank you enough. Subscribe to the magazine yourself or order one of these two if you really want them. And let's be real, you do, you want them, because holy shit, why wouldn't you? Oh shit, it looks like they also sent me this sticker that I totally missed upon my first pass of the package. Yeah, needless to say, once I'm done filming this video, I'm totally gonna put this on the side of my computer. Alright. That's where that shit goes. And now that I'm done being a shill for products I 100% endorse, in all sincerity, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to make sure that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And as I always say, my fellow Gorehounds, peace out, and I'll catch y'all later. Oh my god, I can't believe they sent me this one. <laughs>